everybody, Matt West Gaming here with the, another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a slightly different style of tutorial. We're going to be doing a Touch Portal and 5M tutorial. So I'm in the 5M server now. Obviously got my character and my vehicle loaded. Now what you can do with Touch Portal is similar to Stream Deck where you can set up buttons and stuff on there and obviously have your emotes shortcutted to them so you can just press the button and it does the emote in the game. Now, I know a few people have been struggling with this, so we're going to go through it today. So I thought start in the game, and then later on in the tutorial, we'll go into Touch Portal, set a few up, etc. But I wanted to come in here first and show you how they work. Obviously, you can see them working then and see, maybe see how they work. So I've got our character here. Obviously, you've got all the usual ones. You've got your, um, put your coffee. You've also got a cancel button as well, so it cuts them off when you don't want them anymore. You've got your box. You've got your dancing ones. <laughs> you got your you got your sit up push ups. Sit ups. Sit ups. You've also got your police ones as well, like your guard. And your cop stances. Stance two. You've got your lovely slow clap that everybody likes. <laughs> and you've got your world famous wave. But not only can you do the emote ones, you can also do ones that are linked to sounds. So, for example, you can add a sound to any emote. So, for example, I've got this door knock one that I've put in. So, for example, if I'm a policeman and I'm doing a property search or I'm going to see visit somebody at their house, I can simply walk up to their door, use the door knock, and I'll use that in my roleplay. There you go. Sir, open up. This is the FBI. Let me in. Sir, are you there? Are you there? Open up. <laughs> so, for example, we've got that one. And also, if you're in your vehicle, for example, you've also got you can also do windows down and windows up. So if you're in your vehicle and the police or you need to speak to somebody, you can do that by opening your window. Rolling your window down like this, you see? And it'll roll the window down in game so you can hear them clearly. And obviously when you finish talking, you can put your window back up if you want to. And obviously the sound's linked in. It loads in when you press the button in Touch Portal. Pretty good. Right, let's go out the character, and then obviously you've got the other ones. You've got your Stink. <laughs> and obviously you've got all your other ones that are linked to CPR. You can do CPR. You can do your Medic. Your medic, and you got your pass out as well, etc. etc. Basically, world your oyster, you can add as many or as little as you like. So, that's going to conclude the game side of things for now. So, I'm going to load up Touch Portal and I'll see you guys in there shortly. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So, we're now in the Touch Portal screen of the side of this tutorial. So, I'm going to be showing you how to set them up. So basically, this is my main screen in Touch Portal. This is where I've got my recording stuff, stuff for streaming, my different scenes here, soundboard. And I've got my Civ and the police down here. These are my main boards for the emotes. So if I go up here and go to police, for example, here's all my actions. So we've got the ones that we tried in the tutorial. So we've got coffee. Box, for example, clipboard, notepad, all these ones that you'd use in everyday police. And then if you go to the Civ one, there's some different ones in here. There's stuff like smoking weed, which you might have if you're a Civ. And um, then you've got all your lean sit downs, sit on the floor, you've got your hands up, you've got your hands up kneel. Obviously, some of these will be different in different servers, so you'll have to change the shortcut. But these ones should be pretty much standard. So if we go back to my police board, 
And then if we go to, for example, we'll go to one that everybody uses, we go to Notepad. So this is what you want to be doing to set them up. So you've got your key press, T, which will bring up obviously your skybox in survey that you're in. And these are the important things I've found. If you don't put these in, it will not work. You have to put wait for, and I put 100 milliseconds. Obviously you can fiddle around with these and make it a bit more make it a bit more you know, streamlined in game but these this is what i found works i haven't changed mine at all basically you add the key you add the key presses and stuff by searching in here what act, type of action you want i think if you type in wait for yeah there you go wait for timer that's these here so then so to make one then we've got e press t wait for 100 milliseconds then you add another action which is write text, and then you do slash E space notepad, and then you wait another 100 milliseconds, and then you do a key press enter. And these can all be found on this menu on the left hand side. You've got these, you see. Save that. Let's look at another one. Um, I think most of them are the same as that, to be honest. So, cop, cop one then. T press to bring up the skybox in each server. Wait 100 milliseconds. And then you type in slash E space cop. Wait another 100 milliseconds. Press enter. And the enter key is obviously what start the emotion, the emote in server couple of good things I found with these so what we'll do is we'll create a new page so we're going to do a tutorial page just going to use this for now <laughs> obviously you always start with your go to main button so when you get when you get back to your screen you can press that button on your phone or tablet and it will always take you back to the main screen so I've got mine in the top left hand corner and also you've got your cancel emote button, which is obviously slightly different to the other ones. So if we look at this one, it's usually X in server, X keyboard. And I've also got it to stop playing audio. So if I do an audio one, pressing this button will also stop the audio as well. It's usually X in the keyboard to cancel emote. So that's what the button's linked to on my touch portal. So we were gonna make one, weren't we? So if we copy one of these over, the other good thing is you can copy and paste all the buttons around as well. If you set up a button and copy the whole button and then paste it somewhere else, for example, over here, I've got the smoke button. Obviously, you can change these. You can have as many as you want on the screen at once. So if we wanted that many, for example, there. And all you do, so say I've copied the smoke one and I want to put in Notepad. All you'd have to do was delete the smoke, change it for Notepad, and then save it. Don't forget to save. Save is the important thing. So there we go. That's now the that's now my smoke button now on my new board. If we go back to the Civ menu, so remember we did the door knock one in the server that had the noise attached to it. So that's pretty easy to do as well. So you can you do. Same as the others, you do T press to bring up your skybox. You wait 100 milliseconds, and then you write text E uh, slash E not E space knock. Wait another 100 milliseconds. Press the enter key, and then you play the audio. And the really good website for this, these audio things is. I'll put this in. Um, I'll put this in the video description as well so you guys can find it afterwards. I think a really good website for these is this website here. This website here. And I'll put this in my video description so you can find this afterwards, but you can search for I don't know, door knock. And it'll give you loads of different door knock. Different apps, and obviously, you can then really download these. You can click on the name, download MP3, save it to your computer, and then obviously, you can 
do whatever you like with it then. That's really that's a really handy resource I found. If you want to use that, you can. And also you can obviously add anything in game that has a shortcut key. So for example, the seatbelt command. So for example, in the server I'm in currently, it's actually B. So what we do is we let me just start it from the beginning. So key press you want. So you let's delete it and do it. Do the thing from the beginning. Okay. So you want key press, so key press. And then you want virtual key press, and then you want B. So you do B, add. So every time I press this button now, it will do my seatbelt. And then obviously you've got same for engine. So obviously engine is different in every server. So you'd want to find out through your key binds what your engine toggle on and off button is and change it in here to the right correct one and obviously we've also got the windows up and down here so for example we've got play audio obviously you find electric window noise on the internet and then this one i've set up slightly different so it's wait 500 milliseconds press the t button wait 500 milliseconds write text slash window front the windows down wait 500 milliseconds press enter which will play the emote on the server that you're in and obviously i think it's pretty much this yeah it's exactly the same apart from the audio is different the rest of it's the same and then it toggles the window back up again and i think that's pretty much all the basic all the all the predicts covered the other one is you can do a key fob obviously each server is different and you'll have a button where you can unlock and unlock your car and this will use that and it will play the sound as well that's that's pretty much everything guys also you can do cruise control as well and this will be obviously server based so whichever key you want to use yeah that's going to conclude today's tutorial thank you all for watching any questions or you want to ask me anything Drop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to help on Touch Portal. It's a very good system. It's a bit more fiddly than Stream Deck, but once you know where everything is, I think it's as good, if not better, because you can fully customise the whole board and everything. So then, guys, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.